Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Defenders. In this episode I'm playing as the monk because uh, you know that's, that's what I do every time because this is a monk let's play but uh, I actually kind of just made that joke uh, because uh, I had to kind of stop the recording uh, on the before I even started the first wave um, so that's eh, a little awkward at the moment because I was like oh hey I'm gonna make this joke again because that's what I made last time when I didn't technically save the recording and then I made the joke and I was like eh that didn't feel uh, quite as natural as the first time but anyways uh, also on the last time when I did actually record it technically I did record it but anyways um, I said that I hadn't tested out the strategy and technically that's still true I haven't actually tested the strategy but I thought about it a little bit better because I'm placing these here because this is where those two uh, I can't even see the aura where is it All right. <laughs> um, this is where those two doors intersect, and where the big door uh, intersects, pretty much. Uh, trying to get the auras right on top of each other, but eh, they're a little off. Alright, so, I don't actually have enough mana uh, for a full defense on this side, but I will place a uh, an ensnare aura uh, on this side just to help out. And actually, I can put it on both sides because I have enough mana for that. Uh, Alright, so also something I should say that I say every time I'm here. So this is actually like my second favorite stage, uh, just because it's symmetrical, I guess, and uh, easy to put up defenses on, especially as the monk. Uh, it just takes a lot of mana, I guess. So because I don't have any attacking defenses on this side, I'm just going to have to go in with my actual uh, weapon and take them all down. Now I think, I didn't actually check, but I think the music is turned off. <laughs> Uh, I could be wrong. could just be really quiet for me, uh, because I have my volume set pretty low. Uh, so here, this is a really good spot, because all the enemies that come out of those two doors, and the enemies that come out of those two doors, which are technically one door, uh, will each be attacked by these auras. And the only problems with these are ogres, uh, because those are never uh, well defended against by auras, which I'm not sure if that's the actual proper wording of that, but, um, and the orcs because they have uh, much more HP, so they have a better chance of surviving through that. Alright, and now that I'm getting four points per uh, level up, now I can just spend it on all of my all of my uh, stats evenly. And because I have so much more mana, uh, or not really so much more, but just because I have more, uh, now I can finish off this aura set, uh, or defense, and just making sure these are pretty close on top of each other. Yeah, close enough. Alright, uh, so now just to finish off on this one. And then that's basically all I need to do. I mean, uh, because these auras cover uh, all the entrances so well, I actually am going to put another one by that big entrance though, uh, just because that there is going to be an ogre that comes through that door. So I want to be sure that I have as good of a defense as I can against it. Um, but I am going to have to go in hand-to-hand, uh, -hand, pretty much, and uh, place it close to the uh, spawn point, but not so close that, you know, you can't place it there, because uh, obviously that'd be bad. Uh, and I'm actually going to place a couple more, uh, just to help out even more, uh, but I'm not going to post it, or, uh, place them this round, because right now I'm just going to repair these a little bit, because uh, they did take a little bit of uh, damage, or their health did go down a little bit. It's kind of tricky because I always say that they take damage when they don't really take damage, they just lose health, which is kind of like, how do you lose health without taking damage, but meh, oh well. Alright, so for any of you that are unfamiliar with this stage, which, eh, probably not too many of you, uh, but for any of you that are unfamiliar, uh, there's one billboard, yeah, the, <laughs> I just have to think about that for a second, there is only one billboard that tells you how many enemies are coming out of this, these two doors, and then they'll follow these paths either across the bridge on this side and down towards the two crystals, or uh, through the stairs down the bottom, uh, through this way, to get to the two crystals. And there's also this giant door, which isn't really that big, but it's just this nice big hallway that's uh, specifically for this one door, uh, which is a good spot for a DPS character to bunker down and uh, attack. You can use either like a ensnare aura or um, even an enrage aura uh, to help support any DPS that's there. Uh, without taking over and doing a bunch of damage on your own with the Electric Aura. And the Strength Drain Aura is also good, 
uh, to help out with lowering the strength of your enemies. And then the healing aura is always nice to help keep yourself alive. Alright, and that's actually something we're going to be putting down uh, in a second once I finish repairing these. Alright, then just start the round because I, I really don't need to build many more defenses. Uh, and of course, last time I said that on Servant's Quarters, I uh, <laughs> uh, leaked a few enemies and they started attacking the crystal. But uh, this time, that's not going to happen. Why? Because I said so. Um, <laughs> I'm sure that doesn't have any effect, and of course, I should repair and build and stuff uh, during the build phase when I'm supposed to, rather than during the combat phase when I'm not supposed to. Because then I, you know, go slower when I'm casting rate and all that, and when I'm casting rate, really, uh, <laughs> when I'm actually trying to repair or upgrade, I go slower during the combat phase rather than uh, the speed I go during the build phase. And of course, the archers are, uh, they have a long enough range to attack me while I'm trying to stay as far away from them as I can uh, while still upgrading these things, uh, but at least they're actually in the aura's uh, attack range, I guess, uh, or within their range of effectiveness, I guess you could say. And I'm upgrading these auras over on this side, uh, specifically because I know that there's going to be an ogre uh, coming in on this side, so I want to make sure, like I said earlier, that this defense is as good as it can be. Um, which means that I should have uh, spent more time during the build phase uh, actually repairing and upgrading it. But, oh well, this is what this game is for. Because, uh, uh, also, I should mention, uh, in case any of you didn't notice or didn't know uh, for some reason, I'm only going to be posting this uh, once a week, which pains me because I'm probably going to start up more episodes a week <laughs> of Dungeon Defenders, uh, just because I want to get through this quicker. Uh, because Dungeon Defenders 2 I still don't know a release date uh, for when they're going to release it, but um, I know that it's going to be within a year. Uh, or at least I'm pretty sure it's going to be within a year. No one actually knows, because, you know, stuff can happen and all that. But, uh, let's just say it's six months. That's actually probably a better estimate than a year. But, um, again, it is just an estimate, so don't quote me on that and get upset that it didn't come out when I said it does. Because I have no control over when it comes out, but uh, what am I doing? Uh, collecting mana, <laughs> so I can uh, upgrade that last aura. And I said I was going to place a uh, healing aura. But anyways, um, alright, so what I meant was that uh, Dungeon Defenders 2 is going to be coming out somewhat soon, so my plan for Dungeon Defenders 1 is finish off the Monk during this month, uh, the month of October, and then in November, because that's the next month after October, um, I'm going to try another approach where, for one thing, uh, any of you viewers that want to play this game can play the game with me. Uh, I'll do some kind of online uh, multiplayer session, which I know how to do, but uh, just not sure exactly on the specifics right now because I would need to know like when you're going to be available to play and then try to be available at that time so that we can play at the same time and do all that kind of stuff. Um, but, uh, if I, if I'm not able to play multiplayer with anyone, then what I'm going to do is, uh, sort of like a, not necessarily a tag team, but a switching off between the apprentice, the squire, and the monk, where I'll play, uh, I'll use the defenses from all three characters, but then only the character that is actually on the screen, uh, during that time, like, when I'm actually in the combat phase, only the character that I'm playing as gets the experience. So, uh, what am I saying? Uh, <laughs> so I'll build all the defenses, uh, not necessarily off screen, but I'll probably end up cutting it. But uh, just build all the defenses from the different, um, what am I even saying? Uh, from the different uh, classes, the heroes, the characters, these people, the monk, the squire, and the apprentice. Uh, I'll build all the defenses from them to make a really good, strong defense, and then just go through the combat phase as either the apprentice, the squire, or the monk. Um, and then, and I'll be doing it on hard mode. I should <laughs> mention that first. Um, I'll be doing it on hard mode just to give it that extra bit of challenge. Plus, it's kind of what you need to do to start leveling up more <laughs> past level 30. Um, but uh, anyways, this is the final round, uh, so or final phase, I guess you could say, which, uh, yeah, final wave. Um, and I'm just heal uh, upgrading this healing aura, because I know that there's going to be an ogre, which I've said for like five times already. But, uh, something 
else, I guess, is that uh, I'll be switching off between the Squire, Apprentice, and Monk. And you might be wondering, uh, because I I said <laughs> that uh, only the character that I'm playing as in the combat phase gains experience, then how will the other characters keep up level-wise? Well, then I'm going to be playing that same level twice. Um, well, I'll be playing the same level three times and just only recording it once, and then the other two times I'll be playing it as the Squire or the Monk during the combat phase, and then just sort of rotate uh, so that you can see me playing as each of the characters. Or uh, what I could do is like the Apprentice for the first four levels, the Squire for the second uh, four levels, and then the Monk is the final three, or final four levels. And what? Eternia Crystal is under attack. Um, so yeah, that's just an idea. Uh, let me know what you think about that in the comments. And uh, yeah, my auras really need more HP. And it'd be nice if they had more attack power and attack speed and range and, you know, all the stats. But uh, right now, they might actually lose. I mean, I might only lose the Strength Drain aura and not so much um, the other auras. But uh, even if I did only lose the Strength Drain aura, that would still be quite a loss because then some enemies would get through due to their elemental advantages or elemental affinities. But uh, to prevent that loss, I'm just going to go in, uh, go in or come in and uh, take them all out with my weapon, my mace. And uh, it's really just an assist because they really are, the auras are still doing most of the damage. But uh, it really doesn't matter if your auras are right about to die on the final wave because it's like, yeah, well, it's over. So <laughs> you don't need to spend any more mana and I need to back up so I can actually get hit. All right, so that's that. Uh, and again, I don't need to worry about the mana. I've got 2 billion almost. Uh, practically 2 billion. And again, I say that I don't need to worry about mana, and then I go collect some more mana. Like, what's up with that? I don't know. Uh, Alright. So, uh, again, just let me know what you think about that uh, idea of how I'm going to be setting up that stuff. And what am I doing in here? What? <laughs> Why am I looking at my armor? There's nothing to look at. Alright. Uh, so... That's it for this episode. I actually got this done pretty quickly. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, uh, so, like I said, that's it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.